Results indicate that high doses of ascorbic acid or vitamin C administered orally may ameliorate the withdrawal syndrome of heroin addicts. That's from one of the articles that informed the formation of the quick kit. That's why vitamin C or ascorbic acid is in the morning dose, it's in the, it's in the afternoon dose, and it's in the nighttime dose. This article titled Ascorbic Acid Effects on Withdrawal Syndrome of Heroin Abusers from in vivo in 2000 gives a pretty clear indication. When you take elevated doses of vitamin C and you're going through withdrawals, you will experience more mild withdrawal symptoms than those who do not take elevated doses of vitamin C. And the numbers really are, the patients of the vitamin C treated group experienced mild withdrawal symptoms in 46.6 to 50% of the subjects in contrast to the control group patients who did not receive vitamin C, who only experienced mild withdrawal symptoms in 6.6% of the cases. Again, the results indicate that high doses of ascorbic acid or vitamin C administered orally may ameliorate the withdrawal syndrome of heroin addicts. Now, heroin is not kratom, heroin is not 7 hydroxymetragenine, heroin is not suboxone. But the way that it plays on your opioid receptors, the mu opioid receptors, creates the same withdrawal symptoms. They may not be as strong, they may be different for everybody, but the withdrawal symptoms are very similar. And that is why vitamin C is in every single dose of the quick kit. In vivo from 2000, the article titled Ascorbic Acid Effects on Withdrawal Syndrome of Heroin Abusers. Thank you for nerding out with me. Uh, Professor Matt von Becklin out, class dismissed. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves.